coronavirus crisis and tonight more evidence that this pandemic is decimating the economy. Almost 4 million Americans applied for unemployment last week, 30 million since the crisis began. Life-changing, scary, those are some of the words business owners are using to describe this flood of unemployment. Christina Rex visited with the salon owner who describes the personal toll this has taken on her and her workers. It's, it's been difficult. I mean, this is, this is our life. Westboro hair salon owner Andrea Afshari thought she'd get by paying her employees with the help of a payment protection program loan. But three weeks into the application process, the money isn't here yet. So she told her stylist to file for unemployment. It was just weighing on me, knowing that, hey, if they can't put food on their table, I just felt really terrible. Applying for unemployment assistance is something these women never thought they'd have to do. It's been life changing for sure. It's very humbling, I will say, extremely humbling and scary. These hairstylists aren't alone. Experts say since the pandemic started in the U.S., 24% of the Massachusetts civilian workforce has filed for unemployment. There's been a tsunami of unemployment claims. This week alone, the state saw 70,000 new claims, and nationwide, 3.8 million people filed this week, bringing the total to 30 million claims in the last six weeks. Greg Sullivan of the Pioneer Institute says despite a potential reopening soon, the workforce will take time to bounce back. Economists around the country are predicting that uh, there will be continuing unemployment claims going forward, at least over the next four weeks. At Salon 77, owner Andrea plans to hire her stylist back as soon as her PPP loan arrives. In a place where physical contact is part of the business model, stylists long for the day chairs will fill up and things can feel normal again. I miss my people. I miss um, my coworkers. I miss the creativity of it. I miss having a purpose. In Westboro, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Tonight,